Hi, this is Phil Hinton. Welcome back to the LG stand at CES 2010. We're still with George Mead. George, we're going to talk about Freeview HD. It's launching in the UK in 2010. So what's LG doing and um, what's the technology all about? Well, we've got a big football tournament coming up in June. Um, that's obviously going to be uh, in HD for the first time for actually subscription free, no contract. 50% uh, of the UK will have access to Freeview HD. Um, um, to actually access Freeview HD, you will need a DVB-T2 chipset and the tuner inside the television. Um, so we will launch our Freeview HD TVs in March. They will be across our LCD, LED and plasma TVs. Around 50% of our models will have them. Um, the demand for these chipsets is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we'd like to have it on 100%, it's just absolutely not possible at the moment. So our entry level uh, TVs will not have the Freeview HD chipsets built in. But the step up and premium products, especially all of the Infinia range especially, will have Freeview HD in as absolutely standard. So the, con the consumer is now going to be able to act, you know, watch the World Cup in high definition, subscription free. Um, London, Birmingham, Manchester and Glasgow are just the, big, the biggest towns will have access to that but in time for the World Cup. So 50% of the UK will have access to it. But by 2012, 100% of the UK are going to be able to enjoy the BBC and ITV and Channel 4 and, and Channel 5 in, in the near future in glorious high definition, subscription free, contract free. It's a great innovation that we're very committed to delivering high definition for subscription free as well. Now, if you have Sky HD as well, obviously we have our LED propositions, but if you're in a non-freeview HD zone and you still don't want to pay subscription for your television and you want to watch the World Cup in high definition, then we have our FreeSat proposition built inside our LED product as well. So within the entire range, we will have something for everyone and we're absolutely committed to getting the consumer to watch the World Cup in high definition. And we will have that within the entire range. So this year's a transition year really for the launch of Freeview HD, but when we turn into, uh, I mean, I know I'm talking a year ahead here, but is it likely that we'll have triple tuner TVs as standard? I think it's only a matter of time before you have the DVB-T and DVB-T2 and, and DVB-TS even. You know, there's, there's a whole host of innovations that's going to happen where you have these triple tuner TVs. You start recording off the three different tuners built inside the TV. It's only, a, it's only a matter of time, in my opinion, before we can start to do that. We've seen a, a huge amount of innovations for 2010 with the broadband capabilities and the Freeview HD coming. You know, it's a promising times, but Freeview HD is, we'll probably look at trying to how we, we do with our Freeview Plus range and actually have the, the twin tuner pausing and rewinding and watch one and record another. I think in the, in the not too distant future we'll, just, we'll have a look at how we can uh, look at a DVB-T2 uh, with two tuners in there so we're able to, to watch one HD channel and record another built inside the TV. But work in progress really, uh, not, nothing confirmed on that yet but we'll be, we'll be looking into that in the near future, absolutely. I mean, as you can imagine, it's opening day here at CES. The stand's absolutely packed out. We're, we're fine to do these interviews, but come back and see us because we're going to talk 3D next. So come back and see that.